So I'm going to kind of just test it out today. I'm going to be testing out like different days throughout the weeks ahead. I'm still going to be filming on Wednesday, but right now I'm going to be working on a new oil painting. So, and I figured I'm going to, you'll be able to see from like kind of from start to finish of like my creative process a little bit easier with a smaller piece, unless it's something that you enjoy, like seeing my larger works while I'm working on that, go ahead and let me know whenever you're in. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and get started. And I'll just open up with a quick prayer before I begin. So Heavenly Father, God Almighty, thank you, Lord, for everything for this evening and for everybody here that will be joining in either in a little bit or later on in this evening. Pray that you make sure everyone is safe and healthy, especially during the time that we're in. And give everybody peace of mind. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. So right now I'm going to be currently like setting up my palette and just setting up my workspace before I get started. So go ahead and just sit back, relax, either get yourself a cup of coffee, tea, whatever you prefer and a light snack. And I'll be with you shortly. These are my oil paints, my water-based oil paints that I use. So right now I'm just gonna kind of, I already have some of my paint still wet, so it's just mainly gonna be just kind of refreshing everything. And adding more as I go. Touch of a warm red, still a little bit of green. So I'm not gonna add too much green as of yet. Let's see, add a little bit of a sky blue. Actually, it's called a, well actually it's cerulean blue. Sweating it out with friends in the gym. It's time to drive all the time, come on. Working out at home with expert instructors and a community there to motivate you every day.
So we have a bit of a cerulean blue. Let me see. Probably gonna have to add a little bit of yellow. Yeah, a bit of a cool yellow and a warm yellow. So an actually cool yellow and a warm yellow is actually look a little different. You can kind of see here. And what I like about water mixable oils is, well, because you don't have to worry about thinner, paint thinners. When you thin out your paints, all you need is really a, the it's a type of linseed oil that's specified for this particular brand. And of course, like when you're cleaning up and, or when you even just want to thin it out a little bit, all you need is water. So I'm going to put this, so once that I've already used, I'm just going to put them to the side. Let's see. Might need to touch up a little bit of my brown. This is what the burnt umber looks like in these type of colors. And what's really beautiful about these type of paints, a little goes a long way. You really don't need much, especially when you start adding your mediums. It's actually very, very... It'll like, okay, it'll kind of, it'll either thicken or it'll actually, it'll thin a little bit. So when it comes to this, these type of mediums, I've actually experimented more on... I've been, it's more experimental on my part a little bit. For these, I didn't take anything, any formal classes for this particular style of art. Let's see, green, we're okay on green. White. This one, you always need to have a lot on hand. Doesn't matter what it is. So, I'm gonna... I'm just going to add it over here on this side. Okay. See, and this is a yellow ochre, cadmium yellow. I'm gonna add a little bit of this because it'll warm up a lot of colors. That, and since it's like a darker yellow, it'll act in place of a brown. It'll give like kind of like a really nice sheen. Hi, Morris. How are you? Now I'm just kind of setting up my palette. I'm going to do like another little mini oil painting today. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm doing well. I've been like a little tired the past few days, actually. But now that my pregnancy is progressing, it's been zapping my energy, so it's been taking a lot out of me. <laughs> oh, yard work. And actually, it was kind of funny. I restricted myself from doing, like, doing anything in the garden or yard work this past weekend because I found pigs, little piglets in the yard, but they turned out to be wild boar piglets. And usually where there's a tiny wild boar piglet, there's usually an angry mama somewhere close by. So I didn't even want to get outside all weekend. Let's see. Okay, so... Let me see. I'm going to see if I can kind of, like... Can't really zoom in here.
Uh, well, I didn't really advertise it too much. I think Danielle had mentioned it briefly in one of her live streams. But yes, I'm about five months, five and a half months. Yes, we're about five and a half months, and we're expecting a. We're gonna have a. My husband and I are gonna have a little boy. So it's a boy. He'll be making his due date in December. Okay, I think that's okay for right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Yes, um, I do know the gender. We just found out actually pretty recently. It's a little boy. We'll be having a little boy and he'll be making his debut in December, God willing. So right now, like I said, it's like, that's why I'm kind of playing around with different times. I'm usually, I'm a very high energy person as far as doing everything physically. So right now I've had to slow things down a little bit. So probably come the fall, around November, December, I'm probably going to have to start slowing down a little bit again. Because that's when we're, of course, going to be making preparations. But, um, and I don't know for sure yet, because I'm still kind of playing it by ear, probably I won't be getting on as much until, of course, after we get everything settled in, we get the baby settled in after December. So I'm trying to kind of come up with a little schedule right now to see No, I didn't really make a formal announcement or anything. We were planning to, but I got, after we found out the gender, I got a little overexcited and I just started telling everybody. My husband actually wanted to make a more formal announcement and wait a little bit, but I couldn't wait. Days where I'm total bum and days like extra 
Like extra, like yesterday where I worked and exercised, and four hours fell asleep. Four hours of sleep. Feel hyper now. Oh well, that's good. A lot of times that's just where our body needs the exercise, and a lot of times it needs rest, and it'll let us know. That's kind of what's been happening. Um, I've been noticing that a lot with me lately. Like, even if I go to bed a little bit earlier, I've been, like, I've been sleeping in and sleeping a lot. And I'm not used to that. I'm usually, I have a, usually I'm used to, like, if I have my alarm set, I'm usually up, at them, and, okay, let's get the day done. But lately, it's just been, like, energy zapped. And how was your weekend? Did you do anything exciting? Did you go anywhere or was it just mainly relaxing? I think you just said just exercising, right? Let's see. starters Hey Mir, how are you today? Did you have a good weekend? I guess today was a good day for you, Mir. How are you? All right, now I'm kind of testing out a different time. Kind of where my energy is. I'm having the most energy at this point. Because <laughs> lately it's been really, really zapped. <laughs> Especially since now my... Because I'm actually... Because right now, my husband and I have been really, like, getting things prepped and prepared and stuff for our baby. We're going to be expecting a little baby in December. So right now, it's like now that my pregnancy is progressing, I have very little energy for things now, lately. So I'm trying to make time. <laughs> How are you today?
you're okay. A more or less weekend. I love this. <laughs> Thank you. It's just barely getting started. Barely. I figured it'll be a lot easier. Oh! Thank you, thank you. Sorry, I wasn't like paying attention to what you were talking about. I wasn't sure you're talking about the painting or my little announcement. Yes, thank you. Yeah, my husband and I were expecting a little baby boy. We just found out recently what the gender is, and he will be our little boy will be making his due date in December. Actually, December 30th to be more exact. More or less exact. No, I didn't exactly make a formal announcement. My husband and I we wanted to make a more formal announcement, but I got a little too excited after we found out the gender. I just wanted to tell everybody. So that kind of blew up. <laughs> Your cake days in November. Oh, really? Actually, my birthday happens to be in November, too. What date is your birthday? When's yours? <laughs> yeah, I know. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Yeah, we're really happy. We're very excited. Right now, um, I'm going to start since we've already, since we pretty much like when we, since now that we found out the gender and everything, we're going to, now we're going to be getting into high gear and really planning the nursery, trying to come up with ideas for like how we're going to plan or hit the nursery and get everything squared away. I'm probably going to try to hand bake everything. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That would have been really interesting if it had been in November. Because I share, a, I have a birthday in November too, so that would have been really, really interesting. November 10th. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I have a, one of my younger nieces. She actually, her birthday is actually November 9th. That's, we have, I have quite a few family aside from me that have birthdays in November. Mine is on the 16th.
So sweet. My gram gram was the one who made baby clothes. Oh, you still have them? Oh, that is so cute. That is so cute. And I think it's usually handmade things is always, especially clothes is always, it really has a lot of sentiment. That is so sweet. I wish I could say I had that type of skill when it comes to sewing, like clothes especially. I do not. That's one thing. Mm. I think my mom. I think my mom tried to show me when I was younger, but it never really clicked. <laughs> I can do basic, basic stitches, but I give a lot of props, a lot of props to a lot of the grandparents and moms that sew handmade clothes. a memento cherish them with my life even when most likely won't have kids myself oh yet it is a memento of my grandma oh yeah those type of sentiments are always like wonderful to like keep i think the I'm trying to think i think my remember it was my mom or my grandma my abuela my grandma my maternal grandma i think one of them made me a blanket and i think my parents still have that blanket when i was born they had they made me a blanket it was like a crochet blanket oh there is november 6 oh cool y'all are pretty close and close apart Do you usually make like plans for big birthday parties or you're kind of pretty chill with it? Do you plan, are you going to plan to do anything special for your birthday this year? Or? or you don't plan that far ahead. It's just more of a wing it thing. You're still... Okay. I hadn't forgotten about you, Morris. You had to get the charger. Oh, yeah. It's understandable. No worries. Pregnancy just happened. No, no, no. Weekend was so so. My mall job was so so busy. Watched some movies, wrestling, trying to stay active more these days and work out posts here and there. Okay, well, that's cool. Well, it's kind of funny because we had, um, my husband and I, we've, um, well, it was kind of, it was planned, of course. Graham was very talented. It's very talented. Oh, that's nice.
You don't celebrate it. Not much of a birthday person. Some couples practice for years and then just one day. Uh, okay. <laughs> Why not celebrating life? Not celebrating life wild. Some people just don't care for birthdays. I know a few people that, that don't. They're not too crazy about their birthdays, but everybody has their reasons. So my birth in in honor of the death of my twin sister. Oh, I'm very sorry about that mirror. Hmm. Yeah, that could put a damper on things. Like, can't imagine. I'm very sorry about that. Should probably be celebrating for you, but let's you Thank you. Ah! Uh, 
still, we're still thinking of names. We, one thing's for certain, it's just, um, usually we're putting a lot of thought, it has to have a very deep meaning. <laughs> of course.
it's okay. I like to think she is in a better place. <sighs> well, I'm very sorry about that, especially I think that's that would give anybody a reason not to really want to celebrate. I can kind of, I can relate to that. I understand that in a sense. Not completely in that way. But I remember my uh, cousin of mine that I that I had, but she passed away a long time ago. Actually, her, she and my mom actually shared the same birthday. And my mom and her were very, very close and she passed very, and she passed very suddenly. So birthdays are not exactly the best time of year, time for my mom either. So I can kind of, I can see where you're coming from. Usually the best way to look at it is they're resting peacefully. She'll always be my purple butterfly on my right shoulder. Hmm. It's a beautiful sentiment. Did she like butterflies? Was she like a big fan of like purple butterflies or did it hold a special place for her in some way? Okay, this is getting there.
I'm good. How are you? I'm working on a painting right now, filming. Silence of the Lambs Butterfly. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hadn't even thought of that. Probably. I hadn't. Even, I was just looking at, like, trying to figure out something, like, real colorful. But, actually, no. I take it back. The Silence of the Lamb Butterfly is a moth. It's a type of moth. So, not quite. Although that would be creepy if it were Sounds of the Lamb Butterfly and I didn't even, I subconsciously like thought about it, I didn't even realize it. <laughs> That'd be kind of creepy. Butterflies have many symbolism and history. Uh, yeah, that's true, they do. I've heard of that, but I don't know specifically all the symbolism, but I know it's in history, there's always some type of, like, butterflies have a meaning. And Silence of the Lambs, that was just a calling card, I think. I don't think it had any historical meaning that I'm aware of. Romans and Greeks saw butterflies as human souls breaking free and flying away once someone passed away. Oh, okay, okay. That's what I was about to say. I think it had to do with souls, but I couldn't remember where the context came from. Sounds That makes sense. I've heard something similar to that, but not with butterflies. They, um, I think in Mexican culture, they say that, but with cardinals. That your soul is passed on through like a cardinal or a bird. Something along that line. I've heard something similar to that before. So for other cultures, they also signify rebirth. Yes. Yes, that I've heard. Yes, that I, I've, I've heard of that. And the rebirth concept with butterflies.
Purple is the color of spirituality. Hmm. Purple, I always associated, it's, um, the color, usually in a lot of cultures, signifies royalty. But, that, I can see that, how it would be, signify spirituality. This is where I'm kind of where I'm at so far a little bit. I don't know if you can kind of see because I have it a little bit on an angle down. This is a little bit bigger. Right now I'm just kind of zooming in on where, where I'm at so far in my little painting. This is how big it is. You can kind of see it. That and we we're just talking about like butterfly symbolisms. Silence moths have to deal with changing, but in some Asian, it's death. It's... Oh, in some Asian ones. Mmm, that's true. That's true. I don't know, I haven't seen the Silence of the Lambs storyline in quite a long time. I have one of the books, actually, and um, that deals with, like, deals with the guy, with Hannibal Lecter, but kind of goes into his backstory a little bit. Love that movie. Might have to watch it again. <laughs> yeah. I haven't... I don't know if I've seen Silence of the Lambs. I think I've seen it in bits and pieces. The only one that I've seen, the only um, Silence of the Lamb film that I've seen is, um, I think it's Hannibal Rising. And the only reason I know of that one is because I have the book. I got the book years ago. I think I read it when I was in high school. It was either in high school or in college. I don't remember how old I was when I read it. But it was very fascinating. 
And I think the only reason I had gotten the book is because I was taking, um, well, cause my one, my degree is actually in psychology, but at the time I was taking, I think I was taking my very first, um, psychology class as a dual credit. And, um, I found the book and I, I got it. I got it. Cause I was like very, just very curious about the storyline and just the psychological aspect of his character. Also, a purple butterfly is the symbol of a child who flew away from from the world. Hmm. Interesting. It's an interesting symbolism. It's very sad, too. That's so why I said she'll always be my purple butterfly on my right shoulder. Okay, that makes better sense. It's a beautiful sentiment. Thank you. 
even when I'm gone, I know she's by my side. I have all the movies I don't say she wants to watch. Another. See, so can't. Split. I have all the movies. Lumi says she wants to watch challenging stuff, but I linked her and she just sees more anime. <laughs> trying to get Louisa Lumi to watch like different movies she asking to get like a playlist or something challenging let me see it won let me see silence and red dragon are the best acting and thriller wise mm. I would imagine silence of the lambs and red dragon I remember they had a lot of good reviews a lot of good reviews I'm familiar with the titles just never watched them have to look into them because I like psychological thrillers. I'm not too crazy about any gory movies, but I like psychological thrillers. Let's see. So something other than what they normally watch and out of people's comfort. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I can kind of see that. Let's see. This is kind of where I'm at. Switching over to the background a little bit. Because if I keep messing over here, it's gonna the wings are going to get muddied. Especially since working with oils, they don't dry as quickly as acrylic. So you're going to see me kind of bouncing around from the canvas. And actually in a little bit, I'm probably going to have to call it quits to kind of let all these layers dry before I go back in. <laughs> 